Um, we got everything all cleared out finally. And the floor's all swept and all that jazz and all the holes patched. So I thought I'd film a before because the floors are going in tomorrow. Kurt had to get this sheet metally stuff and like, screw it into place over some holes in the floor. Um, we took out all the random pieces of carpet. There was like a big square of lino in here. And yeah, my kitchen is a mess. And I'm okay with that because we did get a lot done today. Oh, these are the kids' teacher gifts that Kurt and I made soap. So this one is for Ruben's teacher. He's in third grade. That is washi tape. It'll come off just fine. And then these two are for the principal and... And the other person in the front office, it's a really small, cozy school. And so, yeah. And then this is for Inara's kindergarten teacher. It's like the Ticonderoga Laddie try write pencils and then colored pencils. A little bouquet of pencils. Anywho, sidetrack. Okay, so the stove is in the laundry room and the fridge is in the garage. And it's going to actually stay in the garage because it it is leaking water. Like the... I don't know, Kurt's explained it like 15 times. It's like the defrost line or something keeps like leaking or I don't know. But so that may stay in the garage for a while. Pantry. Um, so all of this is going to have the same flooring under the stairs um, everywhere. That's the um, out to the garage has the kids stuff for school in the morning. And this is where the stove normally goes, but there were some holes we had to patch. And of course we had to have... The uh, hearthstone and the wood stove pulled um, over out of the way. And over here is not getting flooring, this little spot here, because we're actually going to, right here is the bathroom. We're going to extend it down and make it a full bathroom. So it seemed pointless to put flooring in. We're hoping to do that in the next year or so. And here's our pretty floors. <laughs> it is Nashville Oak Pergo, I think is the color is Nashville Oak a lot of it and this is the living room slash whatever <laughs> the couch is all like piled up in here along with the kids toys and stuff um and we aren't having them do in there either originally this this was going to be a master bathroom and this was the master bedroom and right here this green stuff is drywall for areas that are going to be like in a bathroom like a wet area but right here you can see where this is this section here. A wall came out because it was going to be the bathroom. But um, we decided not to do that. So this was the master closet. Kurt already took all, out part of a wall here. And um, I forget what all else he did. But he took it out already. But on th through that wall right there is the pantry. So what we're going to do is wall this off and just make a nice big pantry. Um, so it'll be really cool. So that's all in there for now. And we really, we haven't put up our tree or anything because, well, we knew we were having the floors put in. And so, yeah, that's all going to go upstairs. So is that. That's our soaping stuff. We aren't doing anything to the stairs. They're staying as is. We kind of like them that way. And we can't figure out what we would do with them. So they're just staying. And then up here, this is like the outer bathroom. Oh, thanks, Paulo. The outer bathroom is getting flooring, and all through here, all down the hallway is getting flooring. There's our new kitty. We've had him since Black Friday. He's still a little standoffish, but he was going to be um, labeled a barn cat. So the fact that he'll, you know, let us pet him and stuff is pretty cool. He's not even a year old, and the kids... If they're just sitting in here, this is the library. When they're just sitting in here quiet, he'll come out and climb in their laps and snuggle. Hey, buddy. Hi. We named him Hawkeye, so we have our other cat is Hunter, so we have Hunter and Hawkeye. I digress. It's been a long day. So normally there's bookshelves and seating in here. Um, and there was a door here and drywall here. But we took this out, and we're going to put in a rail the same as the one downstairs and then for the like the upstairs there we're gonna put a door there so it's nice and open so all in here all under there is getting flooring excuse the laundry um the bedrooms we decided we're gonna end up doing carpet in I don't know when we're gonna do it but um 
So we're not doing flooring in there. And then this kind of long skinny storage slash whatever. Ruben's sleeping in here right now. Um, we might put flooring at like this kind of flooring. But that room is, I don't know. It's not a big room. We could probably do that part ourselves. And we're not really sure what we want to put in it. It might end up being carpet too. But um, that is the before. They're hoping to be able to get it all done tomorrow since it's just like the tongue and groove kind of like just clicking in place type stuff and it's already got the pad attached to the bottom of the boards so we shouldn't have to um be displaced friday hopefully they can get it all done tomorrow we're supposed to get some bad storms so fingers crossed they said they're going to try to be here between eight and ten in the morning but they're aiming for eight so they can get it all done and that's the stovepipe it does not get too hot for the kids to be able to touch it during the day. I mean, it's really warm, but definitely not enough to burn. I come out here and I touch it all the time just to make sure it's okay and it's totally fine. In case you were worried. And there is our fire hose because, you know, big houses up in the mountains have fire hoses. Oh, and there's Hunter. Hi, Hunter. How you doing? Normally she's kind of napping or whatever, but she's kind of agitated because we've been making noise, hammering and stuff. And normally she sleeps part of the night or a chunk of the night with Ruben in his room. We've got his door shut to kind of help with the noise, so she's mad. But, um, all right. Kurt and Paulo and Thatcher and I are vacating tomorrow, and Ruben and I are at school. And so hopefully when we come home, we will have awesome new floors. Okay. It's about 24 hours later, <laughs> and we have floors. They're pretty. They actually go pretty well with the bare wood staircases, which is nice. Um, they were able to do all of it in about seven hours, even though like they got here late this morning. They still left a little before five. But um, we got the stove put back in. On the wood stove put back in, but that's about it. The kids had fun trying to skate around in their socks on this, and I had to get on there in case because I didn't want it to get hurt. They did a really good job on the stairs, though. We said we wanted it really tight. And Paula's type are on the stairs, and so they actually got it really good and snug right up there, and then they put caulking on it to uh, protect it. And in here got the fire going as soon as we got home pretty much we unloaded and got the wood stove put back over here because it was chilly even with the wall heaters we didn't have them turned up a lot but um i think it looks really good um it's a little less textured than i'd like like it has a bit of a slick to it but it's not too bad and it's coming across kind of yellow on the camera but it's not that yellow um with me just looking at it here um, I don't know if I mentioned it last night, but this is the Pergo Nashville Oak. I think it's a newer one. And you can see the color variation. They have some of them that look very much like, um, like a manufactured hardwood, which this is, but because of like the random knots and the color variation, this looks a lot more like a real hardwood floor. And we actually had some left over, which is cool because we didn't do that skinny room upstairs. And so I think that there's enough here to do that room. Um, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> it's a really long day. I got stuck in the snow for like an hour trying to get out of the driveway. And Kurt had to dig us out and mess with it for an hour. And here, I don't know how they did this, because he asked when he got here, he said, did they give you a stair wrap? And they hadn't ordered one. And so they just took one of the um, the pieces, that, like the transitions, and then it looks like they maybe cut another part of a transition and put it on that part to kind of make their own. And it turned out pretty nice. I don't know that it sticks up so much, but I'm not sure that that's something that could be helped. Here's the bathroom. I don't know what those little chunks are. I think it's just part of the drywall or something. But so here's the bathroom. And 
here's the library and the hall. It looks so much better. I don't think I brought you guys down here last night. The kids are sleeping. I don't think I brought you guys down here last night, but down here there used to be just the subfloor had stains in it and it just didn't look nice. But I mean, it looks so much nicer now. Just the whole hallway being done. It's gorgeous. It's a little darker than we originally had planned on going. Well, originally, originally when we first were looking at the house and thinking about flooring, I wanted to go really dark. Not quite Java, but really dark. And then I thought, uh, a really light floor might really brighten up the whole house. Um, and so we were looking at really, really light flooring. Um, when we brought it into the house and kind of set it around, like it would have worked okay, but it didn't really have like a nice warm tone and feel to it. So I'm glad we went with this. I'm mean, annoyed that it's looking so yellow on camera. It's really more of like a goldish, brownish, orangey, but it's like an orange gold, not a yellowy. But it just looks really nice. I think I got the most accurate color when I showed down the hall, but, um, anywho, happy that it's in and we can, um, put everything back together tomorrow and figure out where we want everything to be. <sighs> it's been a really long day. Um, I might have to vlog about it tomorrow because it was just kind of a bizarre day, but, um, that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.